when I went to St. Tonomi, this is what happened. Hapa tuko hapa kwa now. Within a period, within a very short period, we were able to expand our salon. Because there was an opportunity. Kuna nafasi likuwa po tungeweza kupanua biashara yetu, but because my mindset was, ile kidogo hatu kuweza kupanua. So within a period of three months, hebu angalia, the difference, 800 square feet, that is almost, I think half of this room, almost half. And then a turnover of 8.3 million, that was as per 2018, from where? 2.4 million. But there, there are figures you need to see, there are things you need to see. And that is where I'll center my, my talk. Um, you can see the space has increased, but what has increased the most important? So for you to make money, there's someone you work with that most entrepreneurs, tunajifanyanga, tuko na kiburi, we are better than anybody. That is a lie. A big lie. Uh, so before I knew how to manage my money properly, if you listen to my talk, I have one on YouTube, uh, on Centonomy, you can just check it. Imagine, I give my wife a thousand bob in the morning. Ikifika jioni yako na so saba, tulikuwa na two thousand ya kushare, mini kona so mbili. Who is a better money manager? <laughs> Tuonge ukweli, who is a better money manager? Bado naenda kumuomba pesa tena. Na asubui tulikuwa na tao mbili, tukasema wacha tukatane katikati, chukua tao moja. Mini chukua tao moja. Ikifika jioni, she has seven hundred, I have two hundred. So that is an opportunity. There's someone who's better than you in managing finances. So ni kamambia ata easy, 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 easy accounts za biashara, you don't want to handle them. Why handle? Let us see what happens. After three months, rent is paid before it's due. Employees are paid before it's due. Why? I'm talking about the team. That is an opportunity in your business. Your team. You are not the best in your team. There's someone that is better than you in the team, lakini hutake kumuinua. Kwa niye si mtoto wa mutu? Si ni mtoto wa mutu? Yes. Because what happens when someone hits your kid, how do you feel? For those who are parents, upate tu mtu wana, someone just hits your kid intentionally, how do you feel? Then why do you want to hit another, uh, another person? Why do you want to do wrong to another person's kid? And want to feel okay? So there, there, there is someone in your team who is better than you. So you better identify it in your business, for your business to grow. So when your team is better, there's a multiplier effect. Let's say, for example, in a salon scenario, Kama KJ can aneza paka gel, the, the, the normal retail price for gel is 500, isn't it? I guess, even in Nakuru. So if KJ can apply gel for 30 minutes, and I have a team of 15 guys who cannot apply gel, that means that business will make 500 bob for 30 minutes. So if, if KJ, Mary, John, OT, and everyone else, knows how to do gel. If you get 10 clients within 30 minutes, that is how much? 30 times 5? 15,000, right? Yes. So you see where the opportunity is? When you grow your team, your business grows. So we come here. Aya, staff imiongezeka, space imiongezeka, pesa imiongezeka, wateja wamefanya nini? But the other things you need to do, angalia structure. When, I, when we were three, hakuku kwa na structure. Takuja tu kazi tufanya vinye tunataka. After Centonomy, that is when I knew how to structure a business properly. You learn how to structure your business properly. When your salon has structure, kuunda pesa siyo shida. Today is on a Saturday, right? When a salon's busy? Friday and? But do I look like I'm worried? Yes, because there's a team that is making money. When you're an entrepreneur, you're suppo you supposed to be free. Freedom is what you're looking for. Freedom for money, freedom for time. If you're always kwa biashara yako kwanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni, Monday to Monday, unajaribu kufanya nini? Tuambia ni ukweli, what are you trying to do? What is it that you're chasing? What is it? What are you trying to look for? Money. But do you get the satisfaction? You're too tired. You cannot even enjoy your money. Wangapi wanakuanga na off kama mbili tatu kwa wiki? How many have offs? When you have an off, you get time to reflect. You get time to think. 
So try and get time for yourself. When you start a business, all you want is freedom. There are people who can work for you. Sheba is here. Uh, Washeke didn't have to come all the way from Nairobi to come and... Uh, uh, Sheba's business is going on. Sheba is an entrepreneur. She is a job. She has a job. So as an entrepreneur, when you learn to be free, you will end up. But if you want to go to Duka, you will be free. So I just want to share another thing. That is my salon. Uh, even the Oiko, just as small as it is. We actually planning on expanding it. So I want to, this one you'll be taught, what will end up Darasa? You'll be taught this. It's called a business model canvas. A business model canvas, I like sharing this thing because this one, he, at a student, actually I have a vision board at home. Ikitu inakuanga hapo, because it reminds me. So I would, I would want to talk about huko kwa musho, kwa sababu huko ndiyo ya maana sana. This one is my own. He is a copy paste. I made it. So as you can see there, I'll just go through very briefly. The rest you can pick from class. So uh, a business model canvas has a customer segment. Uh, uh, it has channels, how you reach your customers. It has your customer relations, how you relate with your clients. It has value proposition, the prices you charge your clients. It has your key activities, what you do. Your key resources, your key partner, your cost structure, and your revenue streams, where you make your money from. Mutu akikwambia uandike business plan, uandike business plan page 10. Who has ever gotten funding by 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 pitch anapeana unapeana business plan 10 pages. Ani ata approve, who will approve? Who has that time? So when you have something like this, a business model canvas, it reminds you. Eh, most business people watu wanatupeanga kichwa sana ni watu wawili. Mmoja ni mteja, mwingine ni employee. Si ndio? Those are our two headaches. So when you, you get to know your clients, like us, we have three segments. We have three main segments. Our first segment, which is our very valued segment, Tunaitanga Pampa Ruth or Pampa Paul. These are people who are between 40 to 65 years. Most of them are executives and CEOs. Our, we have estimated Wengi wana earn between 200 to a million. So what they want when they come to the salon, wanapenda kutengenezo wasikie ni wa young. And that is what we give to them because they have the money are you getting my point yes. so ukiona huyo mama mwenye ako karibu 65 years anatembea kwa saloon na nyuele yote ni grey hapana semo yoni mshosho that is a business opportunity check here, I want you to check here angalia hapa, anapenda nini they love bumpering they are big spenders and they are very loyal Unajua, one problem we have with us young people I want you to do a contrast. Check the first segment and the last segment. Our chini to Moita, Jumpy Ivy or Bradley. Our wing is your teja salon. KJ, you know, 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 you But they are what? They are clients. So you can see there. They are price sensitive. They are know it all. They are slightly loyal. Kuna salon nyingine imefunguliwa juzi siji there is another there is a new mall coming up as ndio nakuru so how i say kama uko kwa salon if you are doing business no now i say jumpy they will go there they will go there so you better know your customer segment vizuri kabisa so after knowing your customer segment unaona ah kina pampa ruth kina pampa polo nataka nini i've actually color coded i've color coded so that you can be able to see this goes with this they want a car park a serene environment they want hot or cold drinks I want a shed and a bay. But you, you, you have to have all those clients in your business. You have to have all of them. Because every client plays their role. Uyo, uyo jumpy, jumpy heavy atakonyesha style nyena trend kwa YouTube. Aksema my yanks, my yanks ni madame. So that was just a by the way. So another thing we need to, to look at, your key activities. When you come to your business, most of the time unakuanga fatigued sana. Because you want to do everything. Ufungue biashara, ukae hapo, ufunge, upanguze, uende bank, usign checkbook na hizo vitu zote. Imagine. Mtu mmoja. Utaweza. Uwezi. So uh, I want I don't want to dwell there so much, but you've seen it. You also need to know your key partners. Your key partners in business are your suppliers. Landlord wako penye umechukua duka. Hapana kwa sana landlord landlord yako mwanze kukosana. Atakufukuza ama atafunga duka. Kanjo, 
And uh, another very important one, usisahau, hata si tumeandika hapa. Hii screen ikizumia utaona. Tumeandika KRA and copyright. Yes. By the way, you need to be very keen when you're doing small business. KRA is very intentional. It wants to get everyone. Kila mtu lazima alipe tax. There's another new tax uh, KRA came with. Yenye mnatakaniwa kujua. Kama nyinyi wana biashara wadogo, inaitwa presumptive tax. If you have a business permit, make sure you have a presumptive uh, you have a, you pay presumptive tax. It's like 15% of your what you pay as your license. KRA inakuja. It was recently in Eldoret. So, watu wajipange. I've had two achievements this year. Katasi of would say autonomy because I'm now able to even manage my, fi my my finances better. I remember there's a time I used to see people fly and I used to see eh nashindwa watu wanatoka Eldoret. Uh -huh. Nairobi. Pesa ngapi? 1500. And I used to wonder why 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 do some people fly and others use matatu? Kutoka Eldoret kwenda Nairobi is a very long journey. Very long journey. And you can imagine for 14 weeks 14 weeks barabara 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 but i identified identified an opportunity in my team Now the team can pay a ticket for me and i nilienda shule na basi siku tatu peke yake hizo zingine zote nilienda na ndege kwa sababu people can make money for you wewe kazi yako ni kufikiria biashara next step kwenda so i was talking about my two achievements because some things really humbled me so much i never used to think I would buy a piece of land. I never used to. After Sentonomy, after two, three months, I was able to save up and buy a small plot of land. But I'm proud of myself because I never used to see that. Because there are three things that you have to combine. Lazima ziende pamoja. Whether you like it or not. That is my combination. Nazita ask ASK. You can write this down in bold. Those are things I came and summed up and I niliona zina work together. One is attitude. The first one is attitude. The second one is skill in whatever you do. And the third one is the knowledge in whatever you do. Kama unafanya biashara na haujafunzwa ku manage your key resource which is money then you're not in business. There are people who have purposely learned and want to share with you how you can manage your resources, your key resources, which is money, better. Spend your money to get more money. Make sure you get the relevant knowledge with your money. Kuna jamali ni uliza kije, unatuhanga pi pesa hivi, ni kamambia. Actually, where do you get money to save? Where do you get money to save? From? From where? Mutu aseme tu a shout. From your job. Uh -huh, that is one. Another one. Income. From your income. Uh -huh. Another person. Gift. Gift. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> yes. Betting. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Do you know you get money to save? You don't get money from a salary increment. You get money to save from your expenses. That is where you get money to save. From your expenses. An example. If you spend 100 on bread every day. Usi wacha kukula mkati. Kula mkati, but can you take half a loaf? Which goes maybe for 70 bob. How much will you save? Times 30 days. That is just one item. That is just one item. How much do you spend on milk? 50 bob. Can you take milk for 30 bob? Yes, maybe. That is how much? 20 bob. Times 30 days. What a question lifestyle. You have so much money. You only save from your expenses. Unanuanga nguo ya pesa ngapi? Ya elfu tatu. Usiache kununua nguo. Nunua ya elfu mbili. Elfu moja weka wapi? Asanteni.